Okay, next problem here for our boards go up, please. Um, uh, I want you to show that this thing's conservative. So hit pause, especially after the last one. You should be able to do this. All right, I'm going to show the answer. Whoop. Um, I do n sub x minus m sub y. Partial this with respect to x, I get a 2y. Partial this with respect to y, I also get a 2y. Subtract them, I get 0. It's conservative. So hopefully that's good. Let's get the next question. Um, I want you to find the uh, integral of f dotted with dr with a direct parameterization where c is y equals x squared from 0, 0 to 2, 4. I need you to use y equals x squared. You can't use the idea of like path independence. Okay. So go ahead, hit pause, give that a shot. And I'm going to flip to the answer. Don't be like, oh, he's just going to show me the answer. No reason for me to do it. Go ahead. Okay. So uh, you should see here that I get 32. Um, I use t this time just to demonstrate how to use a different variable. You could totally use x as well. As well. Um, uh, x is t, y is t squared, t travels from 0 to 2. Um, the differential of this line is dx equals dt. The differential of this line is dy equals 2t dt. Uh, from there, I'm going to sub all of these things in to this equation right here. So the integral of f dotted with dr, um, there I moved it up so it's not down at the bottom of the video. Um, the integral of f dotted with dr is um, uh, y squared, comma 2xy, that's the force, dotted with dx and dy, because r is just x comma y. Um, and I left the c here. Then I'm going to change everything over to t's. So it goes integral 0 to 2 because t travels from 0 to 2 along this parameterization. Um, my y squared gets replaced with a, the, sorry, the y in the y squared gets replaced with a t squared. So I do t squared squared, which gives me t to the fourth. And then 2 times x times y gives me 2 times this times that, which gives me 2t cubed. And then uh, my dx, well, that gets replaced by this differential line, so it gets a dt. And then my dy gets a 2t dt. That's where this is. And then I'm going to do my dot product and leave my dt on the outside, um, which gives me, uh, after you multiply and simplify, 5t to the fourth dt. Well, that's really nice because that integrates to t to the fifth, evaluated from 0 to 2. So I just do 2 to the fifth power, and that gives me 32. Hopefully you're good with that. Okay, next part of this problem. Um, uh, I'm, I'm having you do a direct parameterization again, but this time, instead of going along uh, y equals x squared, we're going to go linear, linearly from 0, 0 to 2, 4. So same starting and ending points, um, but different path. Now, because this is a conservative vector field, um, you should know at the end if you're correct because you should get this same uh, value for the line integral because the starting and ending point for both of these are the same. Um, why is that? Because uh, path independence is one of the um, consequences or kind of equivalence is of um, a uh, conservative vector field. So pause. Really, this is like a exercise in just setting up that parameterization and making sure you're good with that. So here we go. As I said, you should get 32. Your work should be pretty similar to mine. I decided this time to just stick with, t with x's instead of t's because I just didn't want to do x's or t's. Um, it's just more simple, less things to change. So y is 2x, dy is 2dx, x goes 0 to 2. That takes me linearly from those from this point to this point. Integral f dot with dr is the integral of, um, I'm subbing into this guy, right? So my y squared, well, I take 2x and square it. And then I get 2x, that's this 2x, times 
times y is 2x. Um, and then the dx just stays the same, and the dy goes to a 2dx. So from there, um, I simplified the, um, I sorry, what did I do? I uh, squared this term, that gives me 4x squared. And then where does the 8x squared come from? Well, if I multiply 2x by 2x, I get 4x, but then I'm going to slide this 2 with the dot product over there. And I'm going to leave the dx on the outside um, of the dot product. Um, so that gives me a 4x squared plus 8x squared. How many is that? 12. And this is a spot where we're thankfully like, oh, sweet. I get 4 times x cubed, evaluated from 0 to 2, gives me 32. Same answer as above. Okay, next one here. Um, I want you to uh, find the potential function that would go with that vector field. So uh, let little f equal, sorry, that should be let capital F equal del f for some f of x comma y. Find f of x comma y and use FTC for line integrals to evaluate the integral of f dotted with dr from parts b and c. So, um, I kind of smashed two problems from the um, previous video into one here. Um, go ahead and give it a shot. Okay, I'm going to show the answer. Um, this is our potential function, and then we should again get 32. So let me walk through this real quick. Um, I F is the integral of y squared dx, y y squared, because that's the x component of the vector field which gives me uh, x times y squared plus some constant of y. Um, and then I take that and I do a partial y on it. So do the partial with respect to y. That gives me 2xy because I do power rule on the, um, on the y and treat the x as a constant plus c prime of y. Um, and then I, I cross check that with this, right? And uh, I think it should be clear that c prime of y is zero. So what do I get? I get f of x comma y is um, this guy, x squared or x plus y squared plus nothing plus a constant. So that's f of x, y. And, um, and from here, we uh, evaluate it from 2, 4 to 0, 0, which again gives me 2 times 4 squared minus 0, which again is thankfully 32. Um, one thing that I'll say about this one is that I think it's kind of cool that, I know that's probably pretty small for you, that um, I did all these different ways and they all got me 32 and they all, you know, like, like I got 32 because I multiplied 2 the right number of times, but here I was doing it as 2 to the 5th. Here I was doing it as 4 times 2 cubed and here I was doing it as 2 times 4 squared, right? So they all get me to that 32, but just in a slightly different way. So hopefully you're starting to feel better or good with these line integrals. Um, and I will um, uh, have a couple more videos with um, three more problems um, for evaluating line integrals.